leverage cycle, and I'll draw the whole thing here. P is PNL, and PNL leads to information, leads to knowledge, leads to confidence, which leads to credibility, which leads to the ability to articulate value, which leads to leverage, and then goes back to PNL. This is called the leverage cycle. What do you think at the beginning? PNL, what does PNL stand for normally? <laughs> Profit and loss, right? For all you financial gurus. That is the end of the cycle. At the beginning of the cycle, to develop the preparation, the more that we were talking about, M-O-R-E, you need this. And this has to deal with interpersonal skills, interpersonal traits. What do you think PNL stands for? Personality. Leverage is here. Leverage is here. Okay. PNL stands for patience and listening. Patience and listening. When I sit down with a client, usually, and I. I, I tend to be in a business where the sell cycle was there longer, I spend more time with clients and so on. The first thing I do is find out a lot about them. Just generally, what ticks? How does their business work? I listen for the little clues about the things that shape the weaknesses that they have. Those urgent needs that sometimes they don't even know are urgent. That's how I build my portfolio of information. And I can put them into context, which is knowledge. Knowledge is just information in context. It's then that I have confidence that I know how to articulate some value. <laughs> if I don't have confidence, if you don't, if you don't, when you're speaking with somebody about how you perform the service in relation to their needs, how, how important is confidence? There's no barriers. It's extremely important. 